Okay. All right. I'm on your side. No, you I'm just tried to lie about the cookies earlier, and I'm so upset. I'm, fine. I'm lying about KFC. Oh. <laughs> I had KFC. Chicken tenders. Elephant never forgets. Here we go. Huh? All right. Here we go. One to one property. So basically what we're going to, uh, what I'd like to at least go over with you guys is one to one property. It's something we're going to be using quite often. We're going to use it for logarithms as well as for exponentials. So um, I'll talk about both of them. Exponential and logarithm. All right. Exponential, though, I think is the easiest one to start off with, or the easiest one to understand. So that's why we'll start off with it. Basically, the a one to one property says if you have an exponent b raised to the x equals b raised to the y, then x equals y. You're like, all right, it seems pretty simple enough, but let's look at an example. Well, if I had 3 raised to the x equals 3 squared, we don't have to do too much thinking here, right? What number does x have to be? 2. So you don't, when you have the bases are exactly the same and you have an exponent equal to another exponent, you can set them equal to each other and just say x is equal to 2. Does that make a little bit of sense? OK. Sometimes, though, it's not that obvious. So sometimes we have an equation that looks something like this. Right? And you're like, well, all right. <laughs> so in this example, we, the bases are not exactly the same. So what we need to simply do is look into rewriting them so that they can be exactly the same. So if you guys go ahead and take a look at this, if you rewrite this as 3 squared minus 4, I can rewrite 9 as 3 squared. Right? So if we manipulate the equation a little bit and set that equal, instead of writing 9, we write that as 3 squared. Now we can apply the um, 1 to 1 property. So I'd have 2x minus 4 equals 2. Plus 4, plus 4, 2x equals 6, divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 3. Does everybody see how the 1 to 1 property Right? No. Um, another thing just to also remember is like what pr pretend if this was um, another example, just to let you guys know is if I had like 2 times 3 to the 2x minus 4 equals 18, the main important thing if you're going to use the 1 to 1 property is to solve for your exponent. So therefore, I would have to divide by 2 on both sides. Then I'd have 3 to the 2x minus 4 equals 9. Then I could do what I did in the, in the product property. right? So what I'm telling you is if you have an exponent that's being multiplied by a number, solve for your exponent first. Then you can use the 1 to 1 property. You can't use the 1 to 1 property when, it, when, in, when it's being multiplied by a number. Does that make sense? So you have to isolate the exponents. Uh, you have to isolate your exponent on your one side and then rewrite your number as an exponent with the same base. Yes? Two is not a perfect square. Oh, so you're saying, like, if what if this was like 10? Well, good point. Then you'd have this. You can't use the one to one property anymore, right? I can't write 5 as a base 3, correct? So later on, I'll show you what to do from there. Right now, we're just focusing on solving problems with the 1 to 1 property. But when you can't use the 1 to 1 property, I'll show you what to do. OK? All right. Logarithmic 1 to 1 property is pretty simple. Log base b of x equals log base b of y. That's it. If you have a logarithm with the exact same bases, x is equal to y, therefore you can say that x is equal <coughs> to y. So again, we can give an example. If you guys end up having an equation, log base 7 of x plus 1 is equal to log base 7 of 15. And I say we need to solve this equation. Well, since you have a log equal to another log, right? Log equal to another log. 
they have the same base, we can just say x plus 1 is equal to 15. And then x is equal to 14. So as long as the logs are equal to one another, that doesn't work when there's like a, a number outside of there. You can't do it that time. It has to be one log equal to another log. Okay? And then you can set them equal to each other as long as they have the same base. And that's basically the one-to-one -one property. 